so this project is a, a sixth phase of the uh, uh, project on the package wall page prediction and the characterization. Um, so for today's webinar, this is uh, to introduce um, the project background and uh, what we plan to do in the uh, this current phase, and um, uh, we'll explain how to join. So uh, in the agenda, first we will introduce the project chair, and uh, I will briefly talk about how an ME project is established, the process, and how we manage. Uh, then uh, we will have the project chair to uh, introduce the project scope, some earlier work, uh, the current uh, project scope and objectives and timeline. Then at the end, I will explain how to join this project and uh, open for discussion. Okay, next. So we have uh, uh, Kang Yu on uh, from Intel. Um, Kanyo has uh, involved in this project you know, since uh, phase four. Uh, he has been the chair for phase five and will continue chairing the uh, uh, sixth phase. Um, Kanyo joined uh, Intel in 2004 and he is now the senior assembly and the packaging analyst focusing on uh, mechanical and assembly technologies. Um, he holds a master degree in mechanical engineering and um, his uh, uh, area of interest includes the mechanical analysis for electronic packaging and FEA process automation. Okay. Uh, very briefly, we uh, when we have a project uh, to develop the project plan, uh, there are uh, some uh, companies uh, involved. Uh, majority of them are from the earlier phase of the project. Um, they, so they um, were the member for phase five and even earlier phase um, in for planning the the uh, phase six. Uh, we have new uh, members like IBM and AGC involved. Uh, we would like to take the chance to thank all those uh, members' contribution. Okay. Uh, next slide. So for NME projects, um, because NME is a, a industry-led consortia, so uh, the projects that we um, develop is uh, mainly for the to satisfy the the interest of um, the industry and uh, uh, also the members. Uh, either the business interest or the technology interest. So uh, very often uh, the problem is uh, uh, address some common issues facing by the whole industry. It needs the collaboration across the supply chain. Typically different segments of the supply chain will be involved so that uh, um, we ha have a better understanding and have a uh, a holistic approach to solve the challenges as a whole. Um, so NME is, as an organization, we organize and facilitate the, the project, um, but the work and uh, the resource is mainly contributed by the uh, participating members. So um, also for the attending the project, uh, the membership will be required. And uh, during the planning or the project definition, um, non members or anybody from the industry can uh, get involved so that to make, to make sure we have a good project defined to satisfy the needs from the industry. So, uh, <clears throat> the, at the bottom, there are some examples to show the type of projects uh, that we, uh, we have. It can be uh, any um, technology areas. Uh, relevant to the electronics manufacturing industry. Um, even for example, the uh, LCA the tool development is for the environmental impact uh, analysis, uh, like a team whisker issue um, that's uh, concerned for the reliability. Uh, we have been working on that in the uh, early um, uh, 
2000 or late 90s uh, during the land free conversion uh, for the warpage characterization uh, and for of organic packages this is actually the earlier phase of this project um, we uh, keep tracking uh, the trend of different package uh, types uh, the new packages was their uh, the roadmap of the the warpage and um, uh, also, we look into the metrology of for warpage dynamic warpage environments, etc. Um, uh, later, can you will introduce more about the the, the previous work. Um, uh, another example for them uh, is uh, on the crypt corrosion. We develop an uh, uh, inexpensive uh, test uh, so that so we can predict um, if a uh, PCB assembly that will be uh, that will have corrosion issues um, in a corrosive environment. Okay. Those are the the type of projects that we we organize. Just to give you some idea on um, if you are not familiar with that. Okay, next slide. So we have several stages to. Um, make sure that the project is uh, well defined and uh, is uh, properly managed. Um, it, uh, very often, a project starts with a new concept or new uh, proposal of ideas. Um, but uh, for a continuous project, it may come from the earlier phase, some uh, recommendations from previous study and some ga gaps identified. Um, then the team uh, with the, the idea or proposal, they will start to define the scope, what the project is, is not, what will be the objective and the expected output, um, what's the appropriate scope that, uh, to make sure the project is manageable, that can uh, accomplish in a year or year and a half. Uh, time frame. That's the uh, typical range um, for enemy project. We hope to have some de um, work um, uh, delivered, uh, output delivered, so that uh, the industry can refer to the results. And uh, also, um, if th there is a complex issue, uh, maybe we can work on as a, a continuous project. So for this project, this uh, uh, as you can see, we are already in <clears throat> the sixth phase, right? Um, so once we have a, a definition of the project, then we will get into the the details, uh, identify who would be the players that need to be uh, involved, um, the key uh, stakeholders who are the major players, and uh, uh, who. Uh, would be interested in this subject. So we communicate with the uh, industry. <laughs> it can include the members and all the non-members. So during this uh, uh, stage, it's called an uh, initiative. Um, so anybody from the industry can participate. So during the planning, we will have two documents uh, established. Um, one is the uh, uh, SOW, the statement of work, uh, to define the the details of the project plan, and then another document called project statement agreement. It uh, defines the project management uh, roles, uh, some uh, policy or items the project team need to comply with, uh, so that they can work together and uh, agree with the enemy uh, bylaws. So once we have those the plan established um, during the planning, we will submit to the uh, enemy technical committee for review and approval. Uh, once it's approved, uh, the project will enter a launch stage. This is where we uh, are now. Um, during the launch, we will communicate with the industry um, about this project uh, to show the opportunity of the participation. Um, and also reach out to a larger audience uh, to <clears throat> get more involvement. Um, during the launch, we will uh, need the uh, 
companies who are interested to participate, they need to sign a document, sign the project statement, so that we will have a confirmed uh, team uh, to to work together um, in a closed environment, um, so that they would be able to follow the same rule, the same policy, um, and to uh, generate a result and uh, do some uh, necessary sharing as well. So in the after the launch, um, we have uh, uh, the the companies who send the project statement. Um, they will start to work together to execute the project plan. So during this uh, stage, we call it uh, a project. The project is limited to uh, committed members who signed the uh, agreement. Um, once the project team finish the uh, planned tasks and achieve the, the goals, they will have a closure uh, to report the lessons learned, the findings, recommendations. Um, quite often we have a paper published or um, we will give uh, end our project webinar or uh, uh, if it's a phase, just the uh, summarize the phase results. Okay, that's the uh, steps for the enemy project development. Next. So here, just again uh, to emphasize the two documents. Uh, for each project, we have those two documents. Um, you can download from the enemy website. Uh, we have a project web page. For this project, uh, there is a link at a later slide. Um, you can find it. And uh, uh, as mentioned, the SOW is really uh, the details of the plan. And the project statement, it uh, defines the uh, uh, project management roles, the uh, policy, how the data and the resources will be shared if there are any contribution. Um, would be uh, committed uh, to show the willingness for the in-kind support from uh, the participating companies. Um, so the enemy membership uh, will be required uh, to join the project so that so we make sure that the, the, the team can work in uh, uh, and a legal framework. Uh, they don't need to sign again uh, the NDAs between each other. They just follow the enemy bylaws and the policies. Okay. I think that's all I want to cover. Uh, I will turn over to Kang Yu to introduce the project. Kang Yu, please. Uh, thank you, Heli. Thank you, Heli, for your introduction on the uh, enemy project. Yeah, uh, hi, good evening, everyone. I'm uh, Kang Yu from Intel. And I'm the uh, project chair for this uh, package or page prediction and uh, characterization uh, project. So uh, this project has been uh, carried on uh, since uh, 2004. Until now, uh, it's uh, uh, phase six already. So I will uh, go through review on some of the uh, uh, project, uh, some of the work we have done uh, in this project uh, and some detail about the phase six. Uh, the uh, high level uh, state uh, of our statement of our work for, for phase six and uh, some um, uh, donation uh, for this uh, uh, phase six project. Okay, let me start with the uh, motivation or objective uh, for this project. So as we know that the packaging technology is uh, changing as uh, it uh, Keep on evolving uh, to meet the uh, new the new user demand and uh, requirement, especially based on uh, the thin and um, mobile device. High uh, energy efficient for the integrated uh, technology. Higher interconnect density with a uh, finer pitch. And uh, higher package uh, to board assembly uh, yield. So that's why. Uh, to achieve uh, all these uh, demand and requirement, right? We need to understand uh, the uh, dynamic workbench behavior of our, uh, the uh, latest uh, packaging, so that uh, it uh, 
Yep, it can be uh, assembly to the uh, board. So this project here, yeah, is to understand the kind of dynamic page we have based on the uh, current uh, packaging technology we have in uh, the uh, in the industry. Yep. Okay. Uh, over the year, we have uh, carried out uh, different uh, study from uh, phase six and from uh, phase one until phase five. So in the early phase, typically in the uh, first few years, we try to establish some uh, standard metrology uh, between um, supplier and uh, the member so that we can uh, come up with some uh, standard uh, measurement to get uh, the uh, result uh, and uh, the uh, standard report uh, for for member uh, uh, to read and uh, to understand uh, the uh, data we have uh, collected uh, based on uh, different uh, package technology. So we also reach out to uh, the industry to get some donation on a different type of uh, package so that we can uh, uh, carry out the uh, dynamic page measurement uh, based on different type of uh, packaging to, un uh, to understand uh, their behavior. So in uh, phase three, phase two and phase three, right, we're able to uh, establish the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, dynamic page uh, package uh, for technology like uh, pop, PBGA, FCBGA, and also uh, based on different environment like uh, with bag or no bag, and uh, with a different uh, moisture expression time. So after we have understand uh, the uh, dynamic uh, page behavior of uh, all this kind of uh, different uh, packaging technology we have in the industry, right? We try to uh, carry on uh, the work the work here further uh, into a simulation or or this uh, modeling tool to predict uh, the uh, the uh, package uh, behavior by using uh, or the available uh, FEA or any of uh, the simulation tool available in the industry. Yeah, so. We hope that uh, with uh, this uh, the simulation capability, right, it can help the uh, industry or the member to speed out the uh, uh, process development uh, to, uh, on the uh, new uh, pack uh, package technology. Yeah. So in phase four, we also try, uh, have a uh, reverse uh, the uh, uh, previous study we have to uh, understand the uh, impact of a uh, low temp solder based on the different uh, dynamic wall page uh, requirement. And in phase five, yeah, in phase five, um, we use a different approach in the modeling study with a transient thermal structure analysis coupled with the effect of a visco and Q model to try to predict the uh, behavior of the uh, package workpage. So this is a new approach to the industry with uh, the Q and uh, the uh, Transient thermal analysis are uh, coupled together to predict the uh, uh, warpage of uh, any of the uh, existing uh, package technology we have. So in phase six, right, we hope to further uh, enhance uh, all this uh, capability, capability and uh, the understanding we have on the dynamic warpage of the package to uh, inorganic type of a uh, package, uh, such as uh, the um, uh, package uh, used with the material of a uh, glass in uh, which is uh, in uh, the uh, current uh, industry uh, trend. Yeah, in this uh, phase six project, we also hope that we can uh, understand uh, better uh, with uh, this uh, different type of, uh, with uh, the, this new type of uh, uh, material, especially the uh, inorganic uh, material uh, that uh, was uh, used in the uh, wafer or panel level uh, packaging. So we hope that we can continue focus on the uh, dynamic wall page correct characteristic of the uh, latest packaging, especially with the uh, inorganic type of material and the uh, wattage measurement uh, related to the, this uh, inorganic type of material. Okay. So next, uh, next here is I'm going to show you uh, the list of our package, uh, different type of our package technology we have conducted the uh, dynamic wattage measurement. So in uh, phase two and phase three, uh, we, yeah, we have uh, considered uh, 
the type, uh, different type of uh, package, package, like uh, for pop system in package, FB, FBGA, the uh, flip chip uh, BGA, and uh, F flip chip BGA with a lead. So we have a uh, get all these uh, different type of sample uh, from uh, the member or from the industry. Yes. And then submitted to a uh, thermal refer to measure the, uh, the uh, package uh, dynamic warpage. So all this testing was uh, carried out based on some uh, agreed uh, standard uh, process um, uh, temperature profile and uh, the uh, measurement uh, metrology. Yep. So once we have all the uh, data, we, uh, we, will try, we will analyze the data and uh, uh, gather all the uh, warpage uh, material and uh, put into a report and uh, share with the uh, member. So we will try to uh, combine all the uh, different type of our uh, uh, different type of uh, packaging we have, so that uh, so that the uh, member can understand uh, what kind of behavior or what kind of um, uh, dynamic warpage uh, material or shape expected uh, from uh, this uh, different type of uh, uh, different type of uh, packaging uh, used uh, in the uh, uh, in the uh, package design. Yep. So the range here we cover, we can cover as more as a uh, 10 by 10 package up to like a uh, 50 by 50 package. So you can give uh, the uh, member and uh, good overview how the uh, uh, warpage and the uh, the warpage and the uh, shape behavior uh, with relate, related to a different uh, type of uh, package here. So in this project, our focus is not only based on a uh, experiment. We also uh, will conduct some uh, modeling or simulation. Yeah, to help the uh, member. Uh, yeah, to help the member in uh, speeding up the uh, process uh, uh, for the development of the uh, new uh, type of uh, packaging uh, technology. So we try to establish some uh, standard uh, or some uh, uh, be best uh, practice uh, modeling method so that uh, the, uh, the member can uh, can employ it in in their uh, de development stage to study uh, how uh, the uh, package behavior based on a different parameter or different design they have to predict the uh, uh, package warpage. And in the modeling study here, yeah, we hope that uh, we can uh, capture uh, all the parameter or the uh, process uh, factor that uh, will influence the uh, package behavior, starting from uh, the uh, incoming material, the uh, uh, package assembly process from uh, the uh, process step, the, uh, the different temperature exposure, the effect of the uh, mechanical loading from a uh, different uh, assembly process, like a uh, chip attach, molding, the lead attach, until the uh, test. Yeah, so we hope that uh, there's a model or um, a simulation tool that can incorporate all these uh, different uh, parameters and uh, all these uh, process fa factor to predict and uh, yeah, to predict the uh, package uh, uh, warpage based on the uh, uh, based on uh, any design they have uh, in in uh, in their product so a uh, so a practical warpage prediction model is uh, critical to drive more advanced package design and uh, risk ma uh, management in our uh, in our uh, product uh, development So uh, next in uh, this page, I'm, go I'm going to give you some uh, short summary on the uh, modeling case study that we have uh, conducted in uh, phase five. So in phase five, we have carried out a study on a simple uh, organic package, which have uh, went through a uh, different uh, lamina lamination process from uh, a two, uh, simple two layer uh, lamination process until a four, uh, become a four layer uh, structure. So the uh, test vehicle used in phase one is a, a one to one structure with a combination of a uh, different uh, material 
from a uh, solder resist build up copper and core. And in here, we have uh, uh, conducted the uh, experiment that uh, was used to uh, validate the um, um, the modeling result we have uh, from uh, the uh, study. So we try to understand uh, how the uh, uh, dynamic voltage changer from a two layer to a four layer, where we can see that uh, with a simple two layer, the uh, voltage can change from a uh, convex to concave when you become a uh, uh, become uh, when you become a four layer um, uh, design. And in phase five, we also uh, use uh, the the uh, the use of our organic package in uh, phase five, right? I have uh, demonstrated the impact of our transient thermal structure analysis coupled with the effect of the visco viscoelastic and cure model. So the uh, cure change should not be neglected as the uh, predicted value can be highly influenced by the conversion percentage of the polymer even though uh, the poly polymer is only used in the substrate. So we should, we also should not uh, neglect that uh, impact from the, uh, uh, from, from the uh, cure. So we are able to show that not only the, uh, not only the more material, but the polymer in the substrate, right, should also be uh, considered as uh, it will also uh, affect the uh, incoming substrate uh, warpage. So this is some of the uh, learning we have uh, found in uh, phase five that we have uh, shared with the member. And moving forward for phase six. Yep, this is the uh, two area that we are going to focus on. First, so the first part is on the uh, dynamic voltage uh, characterization. Uh, based on the uh, latest uh, packaging technology. So the uh, latest packaging technology here we want to cover is uh, on the uh, new material that uh, is used currently, which is uh, the uh, inorganic type of material. Yeah, which is uh, in line with uh, the trend here where most of the, uh, in, uh, where the industry is starting to use the uh, inorganic uh, material in the wafer or panel level packaging. The inorganic material that we try to cover here is uh, like uh, the uh, glass substrate or the uh, glass carrier, which is currently being used in the uh, wafer or panel level uh, packaging. Okay. Then on the second part of the uh, work uh, for phase six is uh, more on the uh, modeling for the uh, package or package uh, prediction. Yeah, in here we are trying to uh, derive a reliable modeling framework uh, like uh, the uh, model generation material parameter to predict uh, the uh, uh, package voltage uh, with uh, the uh, inorganic type of uh, material. So we are trying to uh, do some uh, material characterization on the uh, raw material from uh, the uh, inorganic uh, material so that we can understand uh, the uh, models and the uh, thermal suspension of the uh, material. Okay. Then from there, we are, hope that we can derive a right, uh, right material parameter or other nonlinear property if uh, needed uh, for uh, this kind, uh, for this uh, inorganic material to be used in the uh, modeling in order to uh, improve or uh, increase the uh, incre accuracy in the uh, modeling pr uh, prediction. Okay. At, the, uh, at the same time, we hope that it can uh, provide uh, some opportunity for simulation software provider to validate or develop a new material model for the uh, inorganic uh, material if uh, needed. So to address the uh, future uh, need uh, and uh, and uh, and enhance the uh, capability for uh, for the uh, electronic industry. So, yeah. So all the work here, uh, 
will be uh, will be validated with some uh, uh, experiment work. Yeah. So as we conduct uh, uh, the uh, experimentation to uh, quantify how the uh, warpage uh, or the uh, dynamic warpage changes during uh, the assembly with uh, this um, new type of uh, inorganic uh, material. So basically, this is the uh, scope uh, and overall uh, overview of uh, the uh, work uh, that will be uh, carried out in uh, phase six. So next is uh, some high level on the uh, schedule for this uh, phase six project. So in uh, Q1, we are, uh, we are call for the uh, project sign out, confirm the resource and detail the plan. Then the work will start uh, with uh, the uh, package warpage prediction in uh, Q2 until like uh, uh, Q1 uh, next year. So we will start with some uh, material selection for the uh, inorganic uh, material so that we can uh, select, down select uh, one or two types one to three, uh, three type of material for uh, material measurement to understand uh, its uh, modulus and uh, CTE. Then from there, we can derive or determine the uh, right uh, model uh, material uh, model parameter to be used in the uh, simulation to predict the uh, warpage, uh, warpage. So once we have uh, uh, run the simulation and uh, extract the uh, result from the model, right? Then we can uh, report and uh, do a summary on uh, on the uh, finding and the uh, result we have uh, from the uh, modeling work. So at the same time, we are trying to get some uh, do uh, donation part from uh, the uh, member or from the uh, industry based on uh, any available uh, test vehicle design so that we can use that to validate the um, uh, modeling prediction we have uh, carried out before. So the uh, the uh, part we have went through some uh, standard uh, thermal uh, measurement to um, to get the uh, dynamic warpage uh, behavior of the uh, yeah of the uh, test vehicle. So the result will be uh, summary summarized and then be shared to the member. So by end of the uh, project, uh, which is uh, on. Um, uh, 2024. We will try to summarize the uh, work on the uh, modeling and uh, together with the uh, experiment. Then uh, we will we will share the report uh, in a webinar. Okay. So typically, uh, the work here will be uh, carried out for about like uh, uh, 18 months to uh, 24. So next, I will talk about the uh, project is or is not. So the uh, project here is to characterize the uh, warpage behavior based on the uh, latest uh, package technology uh, that is uh, using the uh, inorganic material in the uh, current uh, industry and uh, try to uh, track the uh, uh, warpage uh, room uh, for the use of uh, inorganic material in our uh, packaging uh, technology. We are trying to compare what is the difference between uh, inorganic type of material uh, to the um, uh, organic type of material. And the project also to, to provide data input and uh, make uh, rec recommendation to identify uh, standard for mo modification or improvement based on a uh, needed uh, basic. Yeah. We also to provide package supplier with a uh, dynamic warpage uh, characterization data on the uh, package donated to, uh, to this uh, study. So in here, we are trying to focus uh, the uh, simulation and uh, modeling work based on the uh, inorganic uh, material that is uh, being used in the uh, packaging. 
So for the, it's not, the project is not to develop any uh, specific standard. Uh, it's not to repeat prior or existing work. So we are not repeat any uh, measurement uh, on any uh, type of uh, packaging we have done before. We are trying to look for a new uh, type of uh, packaging with a new material or new design. So in here, we also is not to uh, bias toward specific uh, supplier, uh, geographic or, or any uh, market segment. So in this project, it's not to include any evaluation for first level interconnect. So we are not cover any um, first level uh, uh, joint study in this project. So uh, we will not carry out any uh, reliability testing or any uh, time cycle stressing uh, to study the uh, uh, package reliability. So in overall, the project is just only uh, focused on the uh, package uh, workpage behavior of a uh, yeah of uh, any type of uh, package available. And for the end in mind, so uh, let me talk about the uh, business impact. So we hope that uh, uh, after uh, at at the end of the uh, project, you will try you will improve the uh, confidence level of the uh, package workplace under understanding, as well as the assimilation for the uh, use of an uh, inorganic type of material in the uh, package uh, in the uh, packaging. So we also hope that it can establish current stack of our package uh, warpage behavior in industry and project the uh, future roommate of uh, the uh, allowable uh, package warpage with the use of our uh, inorganic material. And we hope that we can establish the best use of our FES software or any uh, modeling tool in optimizing the uh, dynamic workpage for any given package technology and uh, identify the uh, area of uh, improvement. So based on uh, a both uh, impact, right, it can lead to a refinement of uh, electronic industry st uh, standards. And on the outcome of the project. So from there, uh, from, uh, from here, you will get uh, the uh, characterized dynamic warpage behavior of uh, the latest and greatest uh, package technology, especially uh, on the uh, inorganic based uh, material. So you, you will get data, input, or any recommendation to identify the uh, standard body for modification or improvement. Then, um, yeah, and we will get established our potential area of our FEA development to improve the uh, dynamic workpage. Uh, yeah, to, imp to improve the uh, dynamic workpage prediction. Okay, so it, it is expected that a detailed summary of the evaluation will be provided to the full enemy member at the end of the project. So with that in mind, I would like to uh, get uh, some uh, donation from the uh, member here. Oh. Yeah. We would like you uh, to provide like um, about five unit of uh, advanced organic package or or in organic package, especially assembled with uh, the inorganic uh, material, which have uh, gone through the uh, complete uh, package assembly process. So this is uh, for us to uh, study the uh, uh, dynamic workpage behavior of uh, the uh, inorganic uh, package, as well as uh, the organic package, right? To as uh, to complete the uh, the uh, 
uh, to build to build out the uh, database of to understand to understand the uh, different type of uh, package uh, web page behavior. So uh, the the package donated do not need to be a fun do, do not need to be functionality or electrical perfect. It can be a dummy or just a, uh, be a test vehicle. Yeah, we hope that the donor can uh, give, give us a brief uh, de de uh, description of the uh, package geometry, ball pitch, and the uh, ball size. And the uh, package donation right, can be as many designs uh, that uh, can uh, be used to envelop any of the uh, market uh, segment we have. So beside the uh, test vehicle or any sample, right, we also uh, hope to get some uh, donation on the uh, raw material, especially uh, the uh, glass type material uh, used in the uh, uh, related to the uh, inorganic material so that we can um, uh, use the material to do some uh, uh, characterization to define the um, uh, to define the uh, right uh, material uh, model to apply in our um, simulation or uh, uh, to apply in our simulation and, uh, together with uh, the uh, uh, warpage uh, prediction. Okay. So uh, we promise that there will be no uh, reverse engineering of the uh, design or the uh, package uh, construction. So the package uh, provided will be only used uh, for dynamic warpage measurement only. No other uh, purpose for that. We are no mention of your company in a relationship to any design or supplier. All you need will be destroyed once the measurement has been uh, completed. So in the return by the uh, end of the project, the uh, dynamic workpage are characteristic of uh, the uh, package of your or your component. Uh, will be uh, published in a report or PowerPoint and share with you that uh, the uh, data will cover uh, the uh, room temperature through the uh, assembly uh, process temperature. And together with a summary of uh, the uh, dynamic workpage data for all the uh, uh, package workpage data we have collected uh, before, like, uh, like in uh, phase two and like in uh, phase two to phase three, so that uh, it can uh, be compared with uh, any of your existing uh, package uh, data behavior. Okay. Yep. So with this, this is uh, uh end of uh, my sharing on the uh, phase six, uh, 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 some overview of the uh, phase six uh, project. Okay. Thank you, Kanyu. Okay. Yeah, can you move to the next slide? Yes, uh, I will uh, explain how to join. If you are already a member of NME, uh, it will be quite simple. If you uh, would like to participate, you can review the SOW and the projection statement. Those documents can be downloaded from this link on NME website. And uh, for the current members, uh, you only uh, need to sign the project statement. Uh, one company uh, only need to sign one uh, document, even though uh, you may have multiple participants from your company. Um, you only need to uh, one representative to, to sign the paperwork. And uh, uh, but uh, also you need the management review and approval so that the commitment for the participation and the support uh, to the work, to the efforts and uh, the contribution to the uh, resource will be uh, agreed and supported by the management. Uh, after you finish uh, uh, the paperwork, you can scan the uh, send copy and uh, uh, to NME. Then uh, Grace O'Malley, uh, she is the VP of operations, will review and uh, give the acceptance approval. Um, if uh, uh, you are not currently an enemy member, uh, if you are not quite sure, you can contact me or you can check the enemy website. We have a list of members. Um, 
if you are interested in this project and would like to get involved, um, you can contact me or with any questions and we can discuss. Um, uh, regarding the donations that uh, Kang Yu just mentioned, um, because the project will include uh, two portions uh, of in, in the scope. Uh, one is on the um, uh, package dynamic warpage uh, environments. It's uh, to uh, track the trend of different uh, package types, uh, especially uh, the latest uh, new packages. Uh, so. Uh, we would like to collect uh, uh, component donations from the industry um, so that we can um, get the, the warpage data of the uh, latest packages so that that can be provided uh, as a reference for the industry. So for that uh, type of donation, um, no requirement for the membership. Right. Uh, it's open for the, the industry and uh, we uh, hope to collect as much as possible. Um, uh, the second scope, especially for the project, focus on the uh, simulation, the modeling work. That part, um, the, uh, that will focus on the inorganic package types. So any uh, support or in-kind contribution on the materials or the packages or even assembly uh, that would be appreciated and uh, but for that portion because that's the core um, scope of the project and uh, it will uh, require uh, discussion the sharing and the build the test vehicle etc so that will be required for the, the membership to uh, sign up as a, a formal project participant okay. I just want to clarify that. Uh, with that, I will stop. Uh, let's open for the question and answers. If you have any questions, comments, uh, you can unmute your microphone. Uh, you can speak out or you can use the chat to input your question. Okay, I see one question in the chat. Uh, shouldn't the X axis in this slide be temperature rather than time? Uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, in the slide uh, on the phase five or? Yes, it's John from ZF. Uh, yes, it oh. was in relation to, um, to the phase five slide. Um, and the warpage graphs, the three warpage graphs that we had in that slide. That was the reason for my question. And and I have a, an additional question as well in terms of uh, how will you measure the warpage behavior, the physical warpage behavior to match with the simulation prediction? Are you using, is it Shadow Moray or are you using some other digital mm -hmm. um, image correlation methodology? Uh, in phase five project, we use a uh, shadow moray. Shadow to moray. Capture, yeah, shadow moray to capture the uh, dynamic warpage uh, yeah. based on some uh, temperature profile. Uh, so we have a fixed temperature profile uh, against the time. Yeah. So uh, the temperature, uh, we, uh, the temperature data is known. So uh, in here, we try to plot the uh, warpage against the time since uh, the, the temperature time. profile. Yeah, against the time. So. Uh, since the uh, temperature is fixed, yeah, uh, at a given time. Got it. But I guess yep. it's start it's starting with kind of room temperature, then going through the temperature excursion to the maximum, and then returning to room temperature. I would interpret. Yes, correct. Is that so? Okay. We start, yeah, we start from a low temperature to a high yeah, temperature yeah. or yep. any peak temperature. That yep. uh, in here it went through like a, a three a two refer profile. Ah, okay. Mm. It's a two revolver for a while so that we can uh, capture the uh, consistent uh, be uh, behavior from the uh, uh, from the package. Got it. So each one of these yep. is with two reflow profiles. Yes. Got it. Thank you very much for the explanation. Mm. Really appreciate it. Yep. I, I just want to add a comment. In fact, uh, in uh, phase uh, three of the project, we uh, did, uh, did some comparison or, you know, uh, 
uh, of different uh, metrology, um, including shadow marae, projection marae, or con confocal. Um, so that's, uh, you know, we, we see some uh, uh, advantages and uh, uh, different uh, features of uh, the different metrology technique. But uh, uh, for the later on, uh, uh, phase four and phase five, uh, in fact, we have both uh, uh, technology providers in the project team. Um, but the result we show is based on the measurement of the, the shadow memory, as uh, can you answered. No, th thank you very much for that comprehensive explanation. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions, comments, or suggestions? Hi, Stuart. As we hear from also from ZF, um, I was mm -hmm. wondering if it'd been looked about the uh, dynamic warpage of the uh, package uh, dependent on different PCB stack ups that had been looked at. <coughs> So when it's a, yeah, let's go through refer profile on, on different PCBs. Uh, so far uh, in our project, we haven't looked into that because uh, we don't get any uh, sample or uh, part from uh, from that yet. As mm -hmm. for now, we only we have only we have uh, we have cover the study of like uh, uh, this uh, different uh, lamination process like, until like uh, four layer only. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if we have chance to get uh, the PCB uh, sample with a more layer, yeah, mm -hmm. we can uh, look into that. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So as you seen in here, when you add up different uh, more layer to the uh, package, right? Then, mm -hmm. if for sure, you will have uh, some uh, changes to the uh, dynamic warp page. So, yeah, from uh, yeah, from uh, on the PCB side, right? I think when we when more layer is added to the PCB uh, uh, board, yeah. So we also will uh, go through this uh, different behavior. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But as for now, we don't have any data or study on that because when we uh, haven't got chance to get any uh, uh, sample or any uh, test we got on that. Mm. Okay, yeah. thank you for the explanation. And uh, I guess uh, following on from that, um, I, I, I guess the answer is this would be no, but um, whether the solder alloy used in the in the Packages uh, has been studied. Um, whether yeah. that has in so, the influence. Yeah. So we have tried to. So far, the package we get, uh, we have gotten, uh, with, is we have any uh, solder joint, we have any solder alloy. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. We try. Yeah. But we try to. Uh, uh, we try to uh, project or study the uh, uh, the impact of the uh, low time solder. On mm -hmm. the uh, dynamic warp page because uh, the solder, the low time solder, it require a different uh, different uh, SMT profile or the profile, uh, yeah, uh, yeah refill profile. Mm -hmm. So we try to look into the uh, profile uh, temperature profile and see how's the uh, uh, dynamic warp page behavior. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Any other so, questions? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so in this project, right, we hope that we can try to cover, uh, try to address the gap we have we have in the industry with are related to different uh, uh, solder alloy use uh, or different material used in the uh, packaging. So we hope that um, the industry can provide us some uh, 
some part uh, yeah, to, to understand all this uh, uh, new technology impact to the uh, uh, dynamic wall page. So without the donation, right? So we cannot carry out any uh, study, or we can, we cannot uh, like uh, uh, further analyze all these are different, uh, and uh, is an impact uh, to the uh, dynamic page. Yeah. Thank you for the comment, Daniel. Mm. Okay, uh, if uh, there is no further question, we will close uh, today's webinar. And if you have uh, uh, some questions later on, when you um, review the SOW and all the project statements, you can get back to uh, to, to me. Um, so I hope we will have the opportunity to collaborate. Or yeah, I appreciate if you you know have any contribution that uh, we would uh, help the team to continue the study and uh, uh, get into some uh, uh, parameters or the factors that would uh, in influence either the uh, dynamic warpage or the accuracy of the uh, modeling. So. Uh, Hope we can work on those challenges together. Okay. So with that, I will close uh, today's session. Thank you all for uh, joining this webinar. Okay. Thank you, Kang Yu. Have a nice day. Thank you, Heli. Nice evening. Yep. Yeah.